Hey guys, I wanted to talk about why children are developing diabetes at such an early age. From 2000 to 2009, we had an increase of 21% in children developing type 1 diabetes. That's crazy. Type 2 is increase of 30%. Insane. Why is that? Now it's 2018, I can't even imagine what these numbers are and it's really hard to find the numbers and I wonder why. Now if you Google this and you do your research on the first and second page of Google, you're gonna find a bunch of sites which will tell you it has an unknown cause, okay? And I'm talking about type one diabetes. And they might say, well, it's uh, autoimmune. That's what causes it. So no one goes one step further and talks about what causes autoimmune conditions, okay? That's what I wanna focus on. So here's my theory on what causes specifically type one diabetes, vaccinations, okay? It's already known that viruses can trigger the destruction of the cells that make insulin, okay? If you're gonna inject a small child with multiple viruses, is it possible that can create damage? Well, I'm gonna put some links down below. You can look at the research yourself. I think it is all my kids were not vaccinated, okay? I, I got a double uh, shot when I, in, when I was in the military, they lost my records, so I had to get injected again. Okay, could have been why my blood sugars are off, I don't know. But I had a history of a lot of blood sugar problems. Now, number two, alloxin. I just did a video on this recently. Alloxin is something they use in experiments to induce diabetes in rats, okay, or other animals. So if you exposed a rat to alloxin, they develop diabetes type one. It destroys the cells of the pancreas that make insulin. So my question is, where would you get alloxin? Well, guess what? Alloxin can be created by combining chloride oxide with protein. And that comes from the bleaching agents that they use to make white flour. <laughs> okay, so when you're consuming white flour, you're getting alloxin residue. Hmm, I wonder if children consume white flour. What do you think? In the form of breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits. Could there be a connection? Possibly. Number three, a mother who has insulin resistance, which is a pre-diabetic state, or diabetes, can set up a situation where the offspring is at risk for getting diabetes because the cells that make insulin are now hypertrophied or they get bigger, pumping out too much insulin, and then that can end up with even a hypoglycemic thing as a growing uh, infant. And number four, infant formulas. If you read the label on the ingredients, it's incredible. They got soy oil, which has been known to trigger insulin resistance, and that would set you up for type two. It's loaded with high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified ingredients. Do you think it's possible that that could contribute to becoming a diabetic? Possibly. So these are the things that I think are really behind the sudden rise in these kids becoming diabetic. Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.